You know, if there's something I see regularly, I mean regularly, people are always asking what Greymon tribal cards are going to get hit. Are we going to get a ban list before nationals? Is that a thing that's going on? Pe people really do not want to play against Black War Grey X in any way, shape, or form. And they are sick of the X antibody cards, and it's just creating an unpleasant experience. So... This turned into a ginormous hot take of a thread that I'm not going to go into today. But what I am going to do is talk about the problem cards of uh, the Black War Grey and the X Antibody shenanigans. And we're going to talk about, in my opinion, should they be touched or should they not? Should they get hit before Nationals? Oh boy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one to a little bit later. But before I start talking about the cards, which are all right here, just let me know in the comment section you know do you think some of these cards should be hit banned nothing should happen at all you guys let me know what you think in the comment section and of course like the video and subscribe to the notification bell the smash potatoes that way you know when all this amazing digital content goes live so i guess we'll start with outlier number one here graymon x antibody who is three to evolve regularly free on a graymon and has a very cool ability that says during your turn when this Digimon would evolve into a card with Greymon in its name, reduce the cost by one for each of that card's colors. Now, that's pretty good. If you evolve a red or just black Greymon card, it reduced by one. But if you go into something like BTA Metal Greymon, it costs uh, two instead of four. And in my opinion, there's a reason why, uh, you know, cards like that cost four and not two. You know, uh, I, th I find that kind of funny. Uh, and then it's the also inheritable effect that makes this card stupid as well. Uh, when this Digimon all turns, has Greymon on and on in its name, would be deleted or returned to your hand or deck by an effect. Placing one accidental card from this Digimon's Digivolution cards at the bottom of its owner deck. Prevent this Digimon from leaving play. Uh, instead of stripping to the same uh, level, which was the old Greymon X, this one just wants you to do one X antibody, which is definitely very achievable. That's for sure. So what what it makes it kind of obnoxious, gives it layers of protection, blah, blah, blah. And that's not even the end of it, to be honest. But uh, do I think Greymon Heck X should get hit? Uh, I'm undecided, but I'm leaning towards yes. Because... Think of, I, I'm not thinking about it from a right now point of view either. I'm leaning towards, yeah, this should go at one. Because this card has synergy with any Greymon or any Omnimon. Let, let's say, hypothetically, we get really, really, really good Greymons and Omnimons down the road. You know, that would really benefit from this kind of protection. This card is going to be a really annoying to deal with. You know what I mean? I think, honestly, right now it's fine. Like, if you want to hit, like, if you want to hit it right now based on BT11 Black War Greymon, you know, it, it's good, but is it the end of the world? You know, not really. But I think this card has some nasty repercussions in a future where they keep printing Greymon and Omnion cards because they will keep printing Greymon and Omnion cards. So I do think that this card should get hit. I think it's really good right now, but I think it's ceiling just definitely goes up with the amount of cards that potentially can be released all right next is metal greymon x antibody uh cost four to evolve or one on the metal greymon uh when evolving to the end of your opponent's turn it cannot be reduced or digivolved uh then if metal greymon or x antibody is in the traits uh delete something six thousand dp or less cool spot removal that's fine uh, opponent's turn once per turn when this digimon comes unsuspended if a digimon is greymon on the one in its name trash top guard security all right I think this card is good. I don't think it's that good. Yes, burning security over and over again is cool, but, you know, it has to unsuspend to do that. And then the wind digivolving is only the turn does the thing. And let's be real, the digivolve is semi-common, deep reducing is semi-common. Uh, I don't think this card's a problem at all, actually. I think then the inheritable is, is the stronger side of it. Because uh, it can just, you know, reboot, burn, or whatever. Or shenanigans, potentially. But it is once per turn. It is locked that way. And uh, 
realistically, your opponent is only getting one burn with this. If, if they can answer it. If they can't answer it, they're losing the game anyway, probably. Uh, yeah, I think this card at four is fine. It's not a big deal. Next is the big boss monster himself, Black War Greymon X. A five to evolve, 13,000 DP and 13 play cost, which we'll get to in a minute. And uh, has reboot, has opponent's turn return. When your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP attacks, you may switch the target of the attack to the Digimon. Doesn't have to be suspended or anything like that. And then when this Digimon becomes unsuspended once per turn, if it has black or gray or X and the traits, you can delete when your opponent's Digimon with the lowest play cost. So, in my opinion, yeah, this card is good. Is it the end of the world? Uh, no, not even close. Uh, it's kind. It's not kind of easy to play around. Some decks don't care about this. Some decks have other issues to deal with in this deck. But some decks just look at this card and they say, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it can be annoying for decks like, I don't know, Imperial maybe. May even maybe. You know what I mean? It's easy enough to play around this. It's just you have to play around it while having previous protection, while in a clock. All of that add together, you know, makes it a little more annoying. But, like, I think just in this card individually, this card's fine. This card does not need to get hit at all. Now we go to the one tamer, which is Yuya. Memory tamer. Uh, and then has a your turn when one of your Digimon with the, that evolves into a Digimon with like Greymon in its name by suspending the tamer. That Digimon gets 2,000 DP to the line of your turn. If a Digimon evolves into a Digimon with the same level, so X antibody relatability there, that Digimon uh, isn't affected by your opponent's option cards until the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, this card's a little strong. This is one of the cards that kind of invalidates things like security control because for that turn, you know, you're, you, you're fine. You can, you can constantly put pressure. Like, let's say, you know, you have Yuya, okay, and you raise a Greymon stack in the back, okay, whatever. You go into Metal Gray, it's still your turn. Then you go into Metal Gray X, and then uh, you can use the Yuya to get the protection. Then you can evolve into level 6 and pop off. And they can't touch it with options. However, then the following turn, you evolve your six, your black or gray into like a black or gray X or a Gaiomon. You can do this again. Um, and then you can realistically do this once per turn if you keep having the stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, I think this card is very good. I do not think it warrants going to one though. I think it gives the archetype a little more protection. Uh, and it's just 2000 DP. It, 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 it matters sometimes and that's good. But, like, it's just extra option protection. The whole name of the game with this archetype, it seems, is, like, option protection and, you know, making sure you can pop off. Uh, it does have applications that Greymon, you know, X doesn't have. Like, you know, Howling Crusher works with Greymon X. Howling Crusher doesn't work with Yuya. Random shit like that. Uh, so, I don't, I don't know. I think this card's fine. I don't think this card needs to go to four. It's a little bit of protection. It's okay. Not a big deal. This card, though, oh boy, oh boy, this is a card. This is a card. This is one of the Digimon cards of all time. This card's crazy. It may look like it costs seven to play. It's, it's never going to cost seven to play. When you would use this card, if you have a Digimon with X antibody and its Digivolution cards, reduce the play cost, reduce the cost by two. This costs five, by the way, so just keep that in mind as we go. Um... Main, choose any number of your opponent's Digimon and or Tamers whose combined play costs are less than or equal to the play cost of wearing Digimon with the Greymon in his name. And delete all of the chosen cards. Then, one of your Digimon with Greymon in his name may attack a player. So, remember Black War Grey X, how it's a 13k? Remember this, this guy? So, 13 play cost? This card can easily just do 13... Uh, Play cost, deletion, spread. Gaiomon's also 13, by the way. And Black or Gray is 12. That's still big. But uh, this card... Oh, the Inheritable. Sure, the, the security effect delete when you're to the highest play cost. Great. Iron Fist is on slot or whatever. Sure, okay. This card invalidates certain strategies from existing. I can't imagine being an all-force player and trying to play in a format where Hades forces all over the fucking place. I can't imagine being a hybrid player 
trying to place in the form of Hades forces all over the place. It invalidates those kind of strategies. It's also an incredibly powerful card. Like, the other day on the stream, we were talking about how Sunrise Buster's at one. And, like, in my opinion, and I love Sunrise Buster, by the way. Love that card to death. This card's better. By a lot. Instead of getting to play a Tamer, you get to attack. Get one attacking effects. You can use the Dexanti body underneath it to evolve into something else. You can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? You, there's things you can do. There's combos to be had. And uh, while the Sunrise can only pop one thing, and by the way, can't pop Tamers, this can pop literally anything you want, basically. It just does. It just does. If your opponent... Fuck Tamers for a second. If your opponent has a really big boss monster in the field, that's annoying. It's dead. So, you know what? I, it, it, this card... I think this card should go to one. I don't think it should get banned. Because uh, I think that by banning this card, you know, it takes away from some of the Tamer removal, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? But I think one is fine. Some people said, you know, it's that people that played it too. You know, what's one going to do? A lot. Two is twice as much as one. In case you guys didn't know that. Uh, anyway, at least one. I could see it getting banned too, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it'll get banned. I think it could go to one. And I think it deserves to go to one, at least. All right. Cool boy. Cool boy. Cool boy. We all know what this card does. I don't need to read this card. This card's been a menace since BT9. It's been all over the place. It's been in many top decks. Uh, this card... Are you guys familiar with, like, Sky Striker, Engage, Yu-Gi-Oh! players? This is like an Engage that you can do every turn. It's, it's better. Uh, so, th th this card, I think, also needs to go to one. Now, I know what the haters are going to say. Oh, but Mario, you put this to one, you're basically killing it. No, you're not. Okay? There are games... Where ex anti body decks like Melga, Grandis, can have zero cool boys and still win. I've seen it. Uh, I, I, I've been there. I've, we've seen it. A cool boy just makes it so oppressive. If you're a deck that's not playing cool... Look, there's a reason that ex anti body decks have consistently done well since they came out. This, this is the reason why. It's this card. This is the card that does it. I, I think it needs to go to one. That's my opinion. Uh... It will not invalidate any other strategies. Uh, it, it's fine. It's honestly okay. There is one more card I want to bring up that I forgot to bring up. And it is just the X antibody option itself. This card. The card that basically lets you evolve while attacking. And gives you some incredible benefits like with Greymon X for example. Uh, this card doesn't need to go anywhere in my opinion. Uh, I think it's one of the cool gimmicks that the deck has, is this X antibody option. I think it's cards like Greymon X that make this card a problem. But uh, some people might also say, well, Melga... I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Melga doesn't need X antibody to win either. <laughs> Just to be perfectly honest, it's straightforward between us. Does not need this card to win games, let me tell you. Melga has other issues, like promos. And same with Grandis, for that matter. Uh, this card can be at 4. If cards like Greymon X are at 1... This card can be a four. It's fine. It's not a big deal. That'll about do it for my little video here on should Black War Greymon get hit before the Nationals or after or whatever. Uh, you have my opinions. You let me know your opinions in the comment section. I'll see you guys later. Bye.